I will be doing more reviews of these cars. Now, last one is the 1983 Mazda RX-7 GS. Um, we've been working on it. It's got rust. Been sitting in the field for 15 years. Also, mine's been sitting in the garage for eight. So, uh, so it's a five-speed manual. It actually has a better, not loose. See, first, second, third, fourth, fifth. Actually, oh, keys out and throw over there, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna take my chances. Uh, it's been it's rusted out pretty bad, but actually, it runs great. There's the original seats. Uh, the lights do work on it, but my dad took one of the resistors out, whatever connectors, and it had to be connected together for it to actually come up. We replaced one of these. This one doesn't even work because it's leaking gas out of it. That one we just replaced. Now it actually holds up now. Uh, well, anyways. It's got a, it had a spare tire in the back. I think we still have it somewhere. Top. Well, that, anyways, that's pretty much it of the 1983 GS RX-7, Mazda RX-7. It's a 12A rotary engine, just like that one right over there. Anyways, there the horn does work. Well, tr uh, it, it, it's, it didn't work when we got it. It needed to be cleaned out. Make sure it works. It's got... It's got... 116,000 miles on it. It has no gas tank in it because it's rusted out. It's right there. Soaking in mean green. His wheels are dry rotted. I don't even know what kind of wheels are on those. Oh, those are good years. Anyways, that's pretty much it of the. 1983 Mazda RX-7, so I'll give an update for you after this one's updated and mine's updated, I guess. I'll do another video soon, so anyways, see you guys.